What's good guys, it's your girl Keisha Ariel and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing with you my first ever perm rod set on my fine low density natural hair. So let's get into it. Okay, so before installing my perm rods, I am going to prep my hair for my wash day by first detangling my hair. And if you want to know the benefits of detangling your hair wet versus detangling it dry, then go ahead and check the cards above. So after detangling and washing my hair, it's time to say hello to shrinkage. <laughs> and remember to embrace your shrinkage as it is a sign that your hair is absorbing water and is very healthy. After all, drinking water is healthy for you. So after towel drying my hair, I will be oiling and moisturizing my hair using the Hair We Grow products, which you can get your hands on by visiting the website on screen. So to get started, I'm going to section my hair in four quarters and begin my moisturizing routine. And as a reminder, when using the Hair We Grow products, it's best to work in small sections as this ensures that you are covering the entire surface area of your scalp, especially when you're using the hair oil and also coating your hair strands when using the hair butter. And just look at how the hair butter activated my natural curls. You definitely need to get your hands on this hair butter right now. And because I have fine low density hair, I will be using the blue 11 millimeter and the gray 14 millimeter sized perm rods to give my hair the appropriate size curls for my hair's profile. And here is a closer look at the process. So I applied the mousse through each section, then wrapped my hair around the perm rod. So as you can see, I didn't use a lot of the gray perm rods, which to be honest, I could have just continued to use the blue perm rods, but I was quite curious to see how the curls would have differed. But this is my hair completed okay so i had finished my hair around 1 35 in the morning and a few hours later at roughly 7 pm i was taking down my hair and to be honest i was pretty impressed with how the curls turned out because honestly as i mentioned throughout this process i was so frustrated and i was like ready to give up even though I did eventually get it right. I was still quite impressed with how it turned out. So I'm just going to continue to gently take down my perm rods. So after taking out my perm rods, it's time to separate and fluff my hair. So before doing that, I will be coating my fingers and hands with some Here We Grow hair oil so that my hands and my fingers can glide smoothly over my hair strands. And I was loving my hair at this point, but I wanted it to be much bigger. But this is where I believe I messed up, especially in the back. I honestly believe if I had separated the curls some more to give me a fuller look and didn't mess around with fluffing the roots, especially in the back, 
since i have fine low density here this would have been a much better look But I would love to know what you guys think of this look. Is there something you would suggest that I could have done better? Or how would you have gone about fluffing and separating your perm rod set? Definitely go ahead and share your tips in the comments below. So until next week Sunday at 5pm, we will be right back here with another video.